All right, so it's important to realize that these coupled equilibria can have uh, far-reaching effects. So let's take a look at an example. So uh, let's see, maybe you're on vacation, right? You're driving your little car here. Right, driving in your car, and then maybe you went to see the coral reefs, right? So there's the ocean right there, and then a bunch of, you know, pretty colored coral reefs. I don't know if they're that color or not, but we're going to say that they are in this example. So these are the coral reefs. And so the coral reefs are made out of solid calcium carbonate. And of course, uh, calcium carbonate can dissolve and dissociate into calcium 2 plus and carbonate 2 minus. And the KSP value here is 8.7 times 10 to the negative 9. And so this is good because this value is overall very small. And so calcium carbonate is insoluble, right? So it precipitates out and then and creates these coral reefs. However, as you're driving your car, right, your, your car is emitting some stuff, and what it's emitting is carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. And of course, any gas in the air will form an equilibrium and go into the water. So your CO2 can go into the water, and it can react with the water, as we've previously shown, to form carbonic acid, H2CO3. And of course, H2CO3 is an acid, so it can act as an acid. So here's carbonic acid. With a Ka1 equal to 4.3 times 10 to the negative seven, it's a diprotic acid, so it can donate one proton, and then it can donate a, another proton. with a Ka2 equal to 4.7 times 10 to the negative 11. And so here we see a common ion with this carbonate here, right? Both of these two equations have carbonate in them. So let's see what happens when we flip this equation. So CO3 2 minus plus H plus forms HCO3 minus. And then, of, and then we're going to add it to this equation up here. So this is the calcium carbonate associating into calcium plus carbonate, right? We see when we add these two equations up, the carbonate will cancel out with one another. And the equation overall is calcium carbonate plus H plus goes to HCO3 minus plus calcium 2 plus. And then of course, we can multiply the Ks. And since we flipped this K, we want to take the inverse of this one and then multiply it by our K up here. So our overall K here will be equal to the KSP uh, divided by the Ka2. And then if you do the math, you get a value of 180. And so that's a much, much bigger value of K than 8.7 times 10 to the negative nine. And so what we can say here is that products are generally favored. And then if we think about what our products and reactants are, over here on the left, we have solid calcium carbonate, which is in this case, our coral reef. And then on the right side, we have um, bicarbonate and calcium. And so they're both aqueous solutions. And so this side is no coral reef, right? Because the coral reef it will literally dissolve away. And so we can see as we insert more and more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, 
our coral reefs go to no coral reefs. And so here's just a picture of that right on the left side. You got this nice, vibrant, uh, life-filled coral reef with all these little fishies. And then on the right side, you got like kind of a little, uh, pretty sad looking uh, death there, right? So you draw a little face and, and you're sad because it's happening. Uh, but yeah, it's important to understand that like the, the world is an ecosystem. And so all of these things are correlated to one another. All of them are coupled to one another. So the things that we do here affect our entire world.